and welcome to the Catalyst Training Series. Uh, I'm Louis Parkinson. I'm Neil Gresham. And over the course of this series, we're going to be showing you some of our functional training exercises for you to use in your sessions. General idea behind the functional training stuff is that we pick one specific skill or aspect of climbing and just find a way of training just that thing really intensely. So you'll learn these exercises, you start doing them repeatedly because it's about practicing them, and eventually that complicated skill or aspect becomes more natural. So starting off with creative sequencing, I mean this is something that you do to help yourself think outside the box when you're trying to read the problem or read the route. For example, if you're sport climbing or trad climbing, you need to be able to solve sequences in a variety of different ways. If you can only do it in one way, then you're really limiting yourself. So to repeat, this is just a training exercise. The goal is always to find the most efficient sequence, but it's a really fun exercise and it's a great way to get you experimenting with different things. This exercise is very simple to explain. Pick an easy climb and repeat it as many times as you can, each time you repeat it being a completely different sequence to the previous one. Some of the times you do it will be harder, sometimes it will feel loads easier. The only thing you're aiming to do is find as many different ways as possible. The aim is to be creative, so try and make it as weird as you can. You can try and go purposefully wrong-handed all the way through. You could try and flip upside down and go feet first. It doesn't matter about it being hard or easy, it's just about being creative. This is a nice one to practice on your own, but it's really fun to set it out as a game with a friend. Take turns climbing the same route. The only rule is that you have to do something different each time. Whoever runs out of ideas first is the loser. If you've done all the climbs in the centre, or all the ones you're able to do, this makes them really refreshing and interesting again. So, um, hope you liked it, and um, tune in again next week for our next episode. See ya!